in the name of Jesus. Now, just stay in the mode of worship. As you know, this, this night of prayers that we are doing, likely going to run for three, three days. Um, this was instructed, I just felt so strongly in my spirit that this is what we should do. As some of you know, in this ministry, I always take time and I just pray for the ministry members. I just pray. So one of the days, few days ago, while I was while I was interceding and praying for the members of EEF and just praying for the ministry growth and for the growth of the members and all because the ministry can only reflect on the members. Then as I started praying, the Holy Spirit started ministering to me very clearly about a couple of things, like things that are holding members back, things that are holding people back. And number one, as I shared in the group, was that we should carry out serious prayers against the power of family witchcraft. And this will began to minister to me how people are being held back by witchcraft in their family. Some, some people that come from families whereby witchcraft is a practice, either um, well, grandfathers or fathers and mothers and uncles are practicing witchcraft and they involve you there without you knowing that you've been willing to be there. Praise God. So that was the first thing that the Holy Spirit started ministering to me when I was interceding for the people of the ministry. Number two, as we said, there should be serious prayers against family negative patterns. If fighting the destiny of the members of the ministry, negative patterns on the family. For example, you come from a family where you, you see clearly that things in anyone nobody really rises in, in this family to a particular level kind of you can see you can see clear poverty you can see a living of hand to mouth it's like everybody is living the same kind of lifestyle it's as if certain kind of things cannot happen in my family or you see a certain kind of family you see all the ladies include the men nobody really has a stable you know a stable marriage or you see a family where everybody in the family has a child out of wedlock so you see all of these negative patterns that one of the core things that holding some members back. Then negative addiction, negative addiction. There are people that they are not able to manifest their destiny. They are not able to, to operate from the place where God desires them to operate because of addiction. The devil is holding them in his palm through addiction. Okay, so what they are addicted to has become a legal ground for the enemy to torment and to destroy their lives. You are addicted to alcohol. You are addicted to gambling. You are addicted to pornography. You are addicted to uh, uh, um, masturbation. All these things. You are addicted. You are addicted womanizer. You are addicted to all of these things and they have become a legal platform. So god does not move in iniquity god cannot move in unrighteousness there's no way for the hand of god to move in that kind of life there's no way for a mind-blowing testimony a breaking groundbreaking life-changing testimony to happen so we need to pray and break negative addiction negative addiction and then there was good news the good news was that god gave me the holy spirit gave me a date that by December 6, you know, by December 6, so singles will be settled maritally. So be praying and enforcing that this prophecy must come to pass for those who are single and they desire to settle in good, beautiful, godly marriages. We we'll begin to enforce that those who already begin to align yourself in that prophecy. This is what the Lord has declared and you begin to align and enforce that to happen in your life. The next thing that the Lord ministered to me is that there will be miraculous career intervention for diligent, diligent believers, diligent kingdom entrepreneurs. Diligent talking about, you know, when you study the Bible, anywhere there was a promise, there was a condition. Anywhere in the Bible where there is a promise, you see what you have to do, a role that you have to do as a man. 
diligent members of the kingdom. If you are here and you have been diligent in your work with the Lord, you have been diligent in how you serve God, you have been diligent in your relationship with God, in how you grow with God, in your prayer life, in how you you, 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 you sacrifice financially for the kingdom to move forward, diligent in whatever area. There is a prophetic word that there will be miracle, miraculous intervention for diligent professionals. Praise God. Now, another thing that came was that there are some people here that the Lord would like to use in a powerful way for his work but the people are not available in the place of prayer. There are some people here the Lord would like to use. Use you for the ministry. Use you for his work. And you not, you, not people read that you want to start your own ministry. No, use you to serve in a particular ministry. And, and, and this is coming timely. God has been speaking to me lately about forming a team of people who can... Uh, uh, um, assist in this ministry there's one thing i like to do is that i don't do anything on my own i always wait for the instructions of god and there are instructions that god has given within ministry i'm just giving an example we'll start doing a call for those who want to genuinely serve in the ministry that you can join the team but i was waiting for the instructions of god so there are some people and you know this in your heart so you know that you are called to serve in your church. You are called to serve in, in, in wherever you find yourself, but you are not available. You that is that person, you that you know, you that is that person. God is calling on you. Go back, go back to that place of fellowship. Go back to that place where God can meet you and empower you. God can meet you and release wisdom and anointing over your head so you can serve him. You, can, you don't serve God with your head and with your power. You serve him by his spirit, by his anointing, by his grace, by his wisdom. And if you are not available in the place of prayer, that service cannot happen. So for the next these are some things that the Holy Spirit highlighted to me, and we were praying about in, in, in this direction as we seriously seek the face of God. Praise God. So get ready. As we pray, it's going to be like this tomorrow after tomorrow. And I'm believing God for a miraculous intervention, divine visitation. There are some people that I will be praying for specifically as directed by the Lord. Praise God. So just make one prayer point. Father, give me an encounter today. Father, meet me at the point of my need in the name of Jesus. Just open your mouth and make, make that prayer point. Father, <laughs> Make me at the point of my need. My today. Father, my God, Lord, Jesus, 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 Jesus,
Let your blessings penetrate me, Father. Let your blessings That tonight, O King of Glory, I will be born to the Lord of the goodness of the Lord in their lives. Thank you, King of Glory, Father. Give me, give me, give me an encounter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I always like to emphasize that in the place of warfare prayer, you are not struggling to win. You have already won in Christ. Victory is already yours. The difference that you are enforcing that victory because the enemy, the, the, the enemy manifests on ignorance. And this this allegiance is very important in the spirit. So when you open your mouth and begin to reject a negative spirit. And begin to enforce the spirit of God. That is warfare. You are declaring your allegiance that in this life only the things of God reign. In this life only God reigns. And therefore whatever is not of God. You are rejecting that thing. You are cutting yourself off. And you are declaring yourself for the glory of God. That's what I would like to remind you. You are praying from the place of victory. Jesus already defeated the enemy. Jesus already defeated the, 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 the witches and the wizards and the whatever. Then you need to arise in your place because warfare is personal. Warfare is personal. Never forget this. Warfare is personal. Spiritual battle is personal for each Christian. And it also depends on where you are in your world. Walk with God and your understanding of spiritual things. Praise God. So that's why our key verse says, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. You are born of God as long as you have opened your mouth and you have declared honestly and believing in your heart that Jesus is Lord. He died for you. He resurrected. He is your Lord and Savior. You are born of God. And this is the victory. This is the victory. Anybody who is born of God, this is the victory that over the world, our faith. This is the victory that overcomes witchcraft, overcomes negative pattern, whatever that is holding you back. That is the victory. So victory is yours. You are not struggling for victory. You are just enforcing it. You are standing on the finished work of Jesus and you are declaring that, hey, Jesus died and set you free from family witchcraft. Jesus died and set you free from anything that is stopping you from manifesting your destiny. That is who you are. That is who you are. So we are going to pray. We are going to start. We are going to start praying. Prayer number one is coming from Psalms fifty-four, verse one. Psalms fifty-four, verse one. The Bible says, "Save me, O God, by Your name. Vindicate me by Your wondrous power." So you'll be praying. You will be praying, you will be praying. Oh, Lord of hosts, vindicate me by your wondrous power from any spirit of witchcraft in my family that is holding me back. Vindicate me, oh God, from every negative family pattern that is holding me back. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Oh God, I stand on your word, which says in the book of Psalm 54, verse 1, Father, you set me by your heart, oh God. You set me free by your mind. Father, set me free to your glory from any spirit of witch that or witch that is holding me in my family. Father, in heaven, I say, let myself from any entanglement with any spirit of and <laughs> 
in the name of jesus somebody pray something is happening something is happening in the spirit pray 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 make prayer point the bible says in ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 the bible says in whom we have read them shot through his blood we there is in the blood of jesus in the blood of redemption redemption from sin redemption from witchcraft redemption from whatever that is holding you back we are going to pray by the blood of jesus i neutralize whatever link i neutralize whatever is in my life that is acting as a legal platform for family witchcraft to operate. I neutralize whatever is standing in my career, in my business, as a legal platform for witchcraft, for family negative pattern to operate. Today, by the blood of Jesus, I declare my redemption. I neutralize it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare the blood of Jesus. Begin to declare the blood of Jesus. Begin to declare the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. My Father, my Maker, you pay the price. Now. The Bible says that by your blood, and by your blood, we have been redeemed from the works of darkness, and we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. We no longer walk in darkness. The blood of Jesus has made us free. The blood of Jesus has liberated me and my entire family line. I stand upon the finish of the cross. I stand upon the blood of the Lamb. And I speak against every evil force. What is against my life and destiny? I command the plan of the enemy to be dismantled now in the name of Jesus. They shall not stand what they're imagining against me. They shall not stand what they're imagining against my family. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb. The Bible says that we shall overcome the enemy by the word of our testimony and by the blood of Jesus. We overcome every evil. We overcome every evil declaration of decree. We overcome by the blood of Jesus. We overcome every curse, every limitation. We overcome by the blood of Jesus Christ. That blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abraham. That blood is when the enemy sees calamity passes over. That blood speaks for my family now. That blood speaks for my family land. That blood speaks for everything that God said. I am a rondo rondo ko shada kada. Bata kabare ni bata kabare. Oh, bata reni na kako shaba. The power of Jesus sets us free. The power of sin and the power of sorrow. The blood of Jesus has set us free. The manifestation of the blood of Jesus. I have found redemption in the blood of. I'm <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
in the name of jesus we are going to pray a prayer from psalms 54 verse 5 the bible says he will pay back evil to my enemies in your faithfulness destroy them in your faithfulness destroy them we're going to pray oh lord in your faithfulness destroy my enemies in the name of jesus mighty man of war in your faithfulness destroy my enemies the enemies here include negative family patterns include witchcraft include uh, um addiction includes anything that is fighting you oh mighty man of war in your faithfulness destroy my enemies in the name of jesus today marks their end in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray Father, in the name of jesus oh god Destroy all God, every smell of the power that has been that is my life in your faithfulness, oh God, with your mighty right hand, Father, destroy the works of darkness, oh Father, manifesting in my life and destiny, manifesting in my family life, every evil voice, speaking against our next level, against our progress. Silence and whatever puzzle they have set, Lord, may they be confirmed in their heads and the name of Jesus. Lord, we submit ourselves and submit myself. Let the snare of the power be broken. Let the snare of the power be broken. Let the resurrection of the workers of iniquity be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Destroy, oh God, every evil voice that has been set up in the iniquity. Let that 
my name of Jesus Christ. I am the child of Christ. I am a son of the people. I am a son of the Every voice that rises against me in judgment, the word says that that voice has not condemned. I condemn every voice rising against me in judgment. In the name of Jesus Christ, you say, Oh God, that you have given me a power to trample upon serpents and scorpions, and they shall do me no harm. I trample every serpentine spirit, every scorpion spirit. I signed against my life and destiny. I trample upon them now. In the name of Jesus Christ, you have given me the power the to uproot and to destroy. I stand in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray that same prayer, but focusing on powers against progress. That's what I just received in my spirit. Father, in your faithfulness, destroy powers against my progress. You know, you want to move forward. There is a power holding you back. Progress, progress, progress. Any power against my progress, career progress, business progress, marital progress, whatever form of progress, you are going to pray, Lord, in your faithfulness, destroy powers. The Bible says that in Psalms 54 verse 5, he will pay back the evil to my enemies. In your faithfulness, destroy them. But you are going to retell it. In fact, that destroy power standing against my progress. We don't know where you desire to progress for the last couple of years, for the last couple of months. When you have been the same, you have been the same. Oh God, in your faithfulness, oh mighty man of war, in your faithfulness, destroy powers against my progress today. Destroy powers against my progress today. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. My Father, my Father, every it power, oh God, aside oh, against my progress, enemies of progress that have been assigned against my life and destiny. Oh God, arise in your power and destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every wall of Jericho that is before me, I command that wall to crumble now. Let the wall break in the name of Jesus. Any giant standing against me at my next level, any giant standing between me and my next level, like Goliath went down, let that be fall. Down. In the name of Jesus, we are put down in the mighty name of Jesus. Every voice that is speaking against my progress, every voice speaking against my progress, we command that voice to be silent. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, this is. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the
in the name of Jesus. Now lay your right hand on your head and follow instructions carefully. Lay your right hand on your head. Put your right hand on your head. And repeat after me in faith, in all faith. Repeat after me. Today I disconnect myself. Today I disconnect myself by the blood of Jesus from every family witchcraft, from all negative family patterns. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Repeat again. Today. Today. By the blood of Jesus. I disconnect myself. From all links of family witchcraft. From all links of family witchcraft. Family, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, move. Holy Ghost, just, move. just lay your hands on your head. Somebody will start falling under the anointing. People will start falling under the anointing. That is the power breaking. Lay your right hand on your head and begin to pray in the spirit. Just lay your right on your head and begin to pray in the spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Holy Ghost begin to move. Holy Spirit begin to single them out. Holy Spirit begin to single them out. Whoever is struggling on the family which whoever is struggling on the negative family patterns, Holy Ghost move. Break. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. His power is moving right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, 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 yes. Expose. 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 Whatever is not of you. And let her batasi kabanda zokoto sakada. And let her testi kata koto sakada. Holy Spirit, destroy every link of family witchcraft. Destroy every link of negative family patterns. By the blood of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Yes, by the anointing of God, break in Jesus' name. Mm. Keep, keep your hand, keep your hand over your head. The Holy Spirit is using that as a point of contact to visit your foundation, to visit the root cause of every situation. Yes, Lord, by your name. Yes, Lord, by your name. Father, your word says uh, that you save us by your name and you vindicate us by your wondrous power. Lord, by your power, begin to move. Begin to vindicate people. Begin to vindicate people from negative family patterns, from, 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 from family witchcraft. By your wondrous power, vindicate them today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just power vindicate them today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, Lord. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, we have been redeemed. Through the blood of Jesus, we have found redemption and deliverance. Jesus, by your blood, begin to redeem, begin to redeem destinies from family orders, begin to redeem destinies from negative family patterns. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. Keep your hands over your head. By the blood of Jesus, I neutralize every negative link, every evil link that is connecting you to your to do, that is connecting you to family witchcraft. That is connecting you to negative family witchcraft. That link is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. That link is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I need to pray with them. Thank you, Holy Spirit. If you had any encounter, can you indicate and explain what just happened to you so I can pray with you? Something just happened to some people. If you experience any form of encounter, can you unmute your mic and explain what just happened? So that we, we cement it when I understand what happens and know what to do spiritually. Yes, Jesus. If where's the Juliet? If you're here and you have been struggling to see your to go through your normal menstrual cycle, lay your hands on your head, Lord. Whatever is in your in that system that is distorting that cycle, come out in the name of Jesus, be neutralized by the blood of Jesus. I see your menstrual cycle to be normal from this moment in Jesus' name. I come your menstrual cycle to be normal from this moment in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Did anybody experience any particular encounter? Did something happen to you? I know to indicate. After this, don't start texting. This happened. This happened. We need to pray now. Yes, Lord. Last prayer points, and then we'll wrap. Last prayer points. Can you hear me? I'd like to share. Yes, go ahead. Okay, while well, we pray. I just felt a very strong presence of the Holy Spirit from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. It just enveloped me and I, I just felt this weight leave my body. Praise God. That's a disconnection. That's a disconnection. A disconnection just happened. For some yeah. people, veils, veils we are burnt. Veils we are burnt. Because when the one way that family which can manifest that there's a veil covering your glory. That 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 God and that 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 the power of the Holy Spirit engulf you and lift her instead of connecting you. You are for a new dawn in the name of Jesus. You are set for day glory in the name of Jesus. I decree that a unique manifestation of the glory of God begins from this very moment in your life. In Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. Yes. Whatever has been a struggle from today, it becomes easy by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Amen. That is a word Amen. I just had for you. Let me say it again. Amen. What I just have for you that whatever has been a struggle from today, it becomes easy by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
That is your word. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Anybody else? Who is, who is having a feeling of vomiting? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. One last prayer point. The Bible says, okay, good. Um, somebody from Facebook says, as we were praying, I felt as if my stomach was untied. Good. Yes, let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. That thing that, that is why the Holy Spirit, somebody felt like vomiting. So I was asking. Now, many a times, they give people things to swallow, either in the dream or when they were young, and it becomes a legal platform for witchcraft, for witchcraft to operate. I pray for you, that person, that you felt as if your stomach was untied. I decree you are free in the name of Jesus. I decree you are free from today in the name of Jesus. Whatever that is not of God in your life, today marks the end in the name of Jesus. You are set free. It's a legal platform in your life that the enemy, that family witchcraft has been using to operate, today marks the end in the name of Jesus. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. You are free from today in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the deliverance. Thank you, Lord, for the deliverance. Thank you, Father, for setting people free. One last prayer point for today. In that Psalms 54, in that Psalms 54 verse 1, the Bible says, Save me, O God, by your name. Mm. Somebody said, what I felt was a heat sensation. And after that, I don't know the name. From the, the heat sensation manifests when the fire of the Holy Spirit is burning things, burning things in your life, burning up things. In your background, not of God, by the power of the Holy Spirit, lift up your hands, even lift up your hands, lift up your hands by the power of the Holy Spirit. Whatever is not of God in your life, whatever is not of God from your head to the sole of your feet, I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I declare today is your day of freedom. The name of Jesus. Set it on fire in the name of Jesus. I set it on fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Last prayer. We're going to pray. That sounds good. The first one says, Save me, O Lord, by your name. Now, you are here because you declare, you have declared that Jesus is Lord over your life. You are here because you call upon the name, the name of the Lord day and night. You are going to pray one last prayer point. Oh God, I call your name day and night. Save me by your name in the name of Jesus. Save me by your name in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In me. My Father, my Maker, your word says that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every name of God, and every tongue of confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, I call on your name day and night. Father, save me by your name. Save me, O God, by your name. Save me, O God, by your name. Save me, by your name. Righteous run into you and they are saved. The righteous run into you and they are saved. Your name is a strong tower. Your name is a strong tower. Oh God, save me by your name. Oh Father, save me by your name. Hear my cry, oh God. Save me by your mighty name. Save me by your glorious name. Save me by your all powerful name. In your name, 
in jesus name just open your mouth and begin to thank god thank god for your deliverance thank god for saving you thank god for destroying every negative pattern and family witchcraft over your life just say father thank you father thank you just open your mouth and say father thank you and chance of things thank you king of glory. Thank, Lord, you. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. Lord, 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 thank you for delivering Lord, power. Lord, thank you for the grace. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you, Lord, for disconnecting you from Satan. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for raising open doors. Thank you for setting me free. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done and that you are even doing in our mission. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, my Lord and Savior. Thank you for this moment in your presence thank you for your presence thank you for your power thank you for your manifest power oh god in our midst thank you lord for your spirit that is working us thank you for your fire oh god stop every evil thing thank you for new height thank you for new life the name of jesus we have prayed amen and amen this was just day one and I know God is doing wonderful things. 